Hey everybody, back with uh, part 2 of the DA500 Little Inspire build. When we last left off, I had just got the frame together and just showed you some of the basics of the frames. Um, in the meantime, I did get some questions from Mark M. Thanks for your questions, Mark M. I did answer them in the comments, but I figure I'd show it to you also. So uh, it's, the proof is usually in the pudding. People like to see versus just read. So um, here we go, Mark M. Got my trusty tape measure here, standard and metric. He said, what's the distance from front to back? You wanted to put a 90 by 90 electronics board in there. Uh, if you look, we got 200 millimeters. Push it all the way into the back spacer. So from front to the back spacer, you have 270 millimeters. Uh, next question is, what was the width from side to side i'd measure it in the spacers in between the spacers because yeah right there in between the spacers because that is an accurate width versus you know the actual carbon fiber frame so in between the spacers you have about 40 millimeters if you look at that 40 millimeters um you also ask the height you're going to measure the height and let's see looks like we got about 23 almost 24 millimeters right there um, one of the other things I did comment on is that the center part's a little bit bigger. So, if you were to put the electronics in before, you put the two, uh, upper and lower plate in, you have from, um, arm spar to arm spar here, you got about, you got the spaces right here. You got about just shy of, just about 560, 570 millimeters, and from this spacer right here, to this spacer right here, you have about 90 millimeters. So, I hope that answers your question. I also to told you that the center of the center of gravity in this frame is really right here, where the GPS mount is. As you see, it stays pretty straight when I do hold it right there. If you were to mount it up front here, it'll lean back a little. As you see, I pick it up, it starts leaning back. But Hope that answers your question, Mark M. But the other thing that uh, pick up where we left off, so you notice I have motors on here now and props. I did say I ordered some motors and props and they were coming in the mail. Well, they did. And look at what we got here. We have the uh, GART ML4108 300KV motors with 13 inch carbon fiber props. Now they recommend that you only put four of them on here, but hey, uh, my good friends, my lady calls me Dallas and I figured it out the other day why, because I seem to like to do everything big. So <laughs> I figured, you know what, let's go big. Let's try to see what we get out of it. Worst that could happen, so I might go down to only four 320 kV motors. Hey, big deal. But redundancy is good with... Uh, Quad, big quadcopters because if one motor goes out you can still fly another thing that's going to happen with this quadcopter is that for the speed controls i was going to put in eight 30 amp 6s speed controls but when i did the math uh the calculations we're talking about uh 245 250 grams of extra weight on there versus a better idea that i had with one of my previous copters which you'll see a video of eventually um, this small little guy, uh, if you look at it, I got the multi Wii SE, but sit, the multi Wii SE is actually sitting on a four in one ESC. Uh, if you look inside, you can see the ESC right there. Let me flip it over. You can see it. And, uh, you have three, three wires coming out for each. Uh, you got your battery connector right there. Uh, let's see, you got the battery connector right there coming around. And it's 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 pretty neat. Also, they only weigh ninety ounces each. So, uh, I did say that those eight speed controls would be about two hundred and fifty ounces. I meant ounces, not grams. Two hundred and fifty ounces. Yeah, whatever the measurement. These only weigh ninety. So, we got some weight saving there. Um, the other thing that, uh, I decided to do, um, is, right, grams, 
Grams, that's right, Grams. Uh, <laughs> the other thing that I decided was, hey, I need a flight control. So I said to myself, okay, let's uh, go with a flight controller. Let's see what's out there. And at first I said, you know what? Let me go with the um, NASA M. I already have a NASA version too. Um, no GPS. And uh, I figured, hey, why not go for a NASA light? Uh, with GPS, you know, everybody seems to like those and you know it, they, they, They're kind of easy. You know everything comes in the box. This one. I I got lucky picked it up on eBay for $118 uh, Reason it was so inexpensive is that it comes with the aftermarket GPS module, which is cool. I could deal with it as long as it works. That's what counts um, You go for $118, but Good news everybody. There's a new sheriff or a new deputy or a new player on the block and that's taro now you know taro makes some awesome uh heavy lift copters carbon fiber mainly and they came out with their own flight controller now this is a, this is a pretty sick flight controller it comes with the gps it goes for around a, i think i picked up mine for around 139 dollars power hobbies on ebay thank you power hobbies i got this thing within like about four days after i ordered it awesome i'm so happy uh, I ordered it Sunday. I think it's Wednesday today. I just, I just already got it. So, got this here. It comes with the GPS controller. There's so many, uh, you could do dual satellites with this thing. Uh, the GPS receiver is included for that price. Take a look at it. It's out. Um, it supports Android, iOS and Android devices. I'm going to do a little bit of an open box so you get, get to see what's going on with it. Um, and uh, that'd be cool. Uh, other piece I decided to pick up, once again, thank you, Power Hobbies, out there in New Jersey, is this right here. I do own a Tyrannus, so I'm going with the FR Sky LR9 Long Range. That's what the LR stands for. Long Range. <laughs> um, eight channel receiver has S bus capabilities. Uh, channel nine, nine, well, nine channels. It uh, comes, it has S bus capabilities. And uh, it's good for long range work. They said it gives you about twice the distance uh, comparing to the X8R, which I have on most of my machines. So that's that right there. And I'm working on some interesting battery configurations to put in this thing. So stay tuned, everybody. There's more to come later.